Eing tablets. There are now so many to choose from, but which one is the best for writing? For writing, it's got to be the Supernote. It's designed for those who write. And for me, it's a very special place for my thoughts as a writer. Firstly, the Note app is great. And you can actually make tables of contents and star marks within the note-taking app. So you can structure your notebook like it's a book. The handwriting recognition works offline as well, which is really, really useful. And you can start Word documents on the device. Handwriting recognition is accurate and it works offline too. The feel of the Supernote is also great for writers. With a little bit of getting used to, you can actually edit and start documents really quickly and easily. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> It is good, and I do still recommend this as the choice for serious writers. If you're somebody that thinks through writing, if you're somebody that has to actually start documents and communicate through writing, the Supernote is excellent. I do want to mention the Books devices because you do have a Word app on the Books device, and that can obviously integrate into the Microsoft OneDrive cloud. That's a really useful thing if you're somebody that uses that already. Microsoft apps work just fine on here, although the contrast isn't perfect, so you don't always see the difference, different buttons up here. And if you're somebody that types rather than writes by hand, then you can link a Bluetooth keyboard to this as well. If handwriting recognition is something that you know you definitely want, then check out the Kobo Ellipsa, because the advanced notebook features of the Kobo Ellipsa are excellent. You can see it essentially being a place to start Word documents. and the handwriting recognition is really accurate on it. Even when you're massively scruffy like me. What I wish they'll do in a future iteration is allow you to carry on writing the next line whilst it processes. It doesn't normally take this long. Probably it's having the trouble <laughs> figuring out my really scruffy writing there. And I think, if, again, if you get used to this, but once you are used to that kind of pace of taking down your thoughts, It does feel really natural. So there you have it. I think the choices for writing come down to the Supernote or the Kobo. The Kobo is a new player in this category, but it is doing really well.